Well, I unlocked the Dark Aether camo for whatever it's worth because the camo isn't worth the grind whatsoever. I don't think I need to make a completely separate video discussing if Dark Aether and Vanguard's worth it or not when you can just look at the camo and then look at what you have to do to complete the grind and just you can easily see right then and there it's not worth it. On the bright side, I got extra social credit score for getting the camo on my gaming license, but I mean, that's really it. And I'm not gonna lie, the majority of this camo grind was done while I was AFK. I mean, it's no secret you can unlock this camo using an auto clicker. The only three camo challenges that you can't do using an auto clicker are the machine gun boss zombies in the game. I can't remember what they're called, but they're called like the Sturm Kriggers or something like that. And then the Boom Shriers, I think that's what they're called. The red guys that run at you and explode. Those are the only three camo challenges you can't do. It's just criticals and then the boss zombies kills. Everything else you can do completely AFK. And I'll post a video later this week talking about how you can actually get that camo while afk but just for a quick crash course until then you just have to have an auto clicker on your pc or an auto clicker for a controller emulator it's pretty easy to install you can find them anywhere if you just google auto clicker i don't know if you can get an auto clicker on console i don't even know where you would begin to start to do that so maybe there's something in controller settings or in button layouts that can let you melee just by taping down a trigger but i honestly haven't looked through them once you have your auto clicker you load up duran fun you pack a punch your weapon to level three you can do it even earlier too you basically want to pack a punch your weapon until you are able to one hit melee with the covenant of bloodlust this covenant just allows you to have more melee damage when meleeing and you earn some health back too and then you want some perks as well so when you're afk you just don't die extremely fast and you can just kill the zombies what you want to do then is find a harvest or transmission objective and then you just go into the objective get close to the end so if you're in transmission go until your bar is like 95 percent full and then if you're in harvest just fill the first two soul eaters and then just wait on the third kill off the boss zombies that spawn near the end of the objective and it will just be straight zombie spawns for the rest of the game you find a spot where zombies either have to climb up or just find a corner where zombies run at you in a straight line you activate your auto clicker for the melee button and as long as you're one hit meleeing and then you can just go afk and do whatever you want for me whenever i was grinding this camo i was doing homework or editing videos or i wasn't even home and i was still getting camo progression towards this and i honestly can't blame people say it's a bad thing to grind the camo like this because well, the camo's not worth it whatsoever, and Vanguard's been broken enough, and who wants to play on Duran Fang? Like, honestly, to grind Duran Fang for as much as you would have to without an auto clicker, just to get a camo that looks like Billie Eilish's hair when it was green and black, it's not worth it, man. It completely is just not even close. If people want to unlock it legit, more power to them. For me, it just wasn't my cup of tea. It's the first mastery camo in COD history that I've ever done some sort of exploit for it. And really, it's just an auto clicker as well. I think it's just bad game design overall. I I mean, I don't need to make a second video about talking about if Dark Aether's worth it. It's not. It looks like a good camo, like don't get me wrong. It's a cool looking camo, it looks good in multiplayer. We don't know what it'll look like in Warzone, but I'm assuming based off of how the based off of how the Vanguard camos look in Caldera right now, I'm assuming Dark Aether will look just as good as Diamond and as Atomic. But for a good looking camo like this to be worth that grind, not at all. It looks like a camo that would come from supply drops in Black Ops 3, or it looks like a camo that you should be unlocking on your way to a mastery camo. I don't think they'll ever improve this camo. If we look back at some of the uglier mastery camos in Call of Duty, whether that's like Advanced Warfare's Royalty, or if you look at World War II's Chrome, those camos haven't seen any improvements over the years and they look very bland. And that's just kind of the same with Dark Aether. If you're comparing Cold War's Dark Aether to Vanguard's Dark Aether, there's a clear winner. I mean, Cold War doesn't have any competition when it comes to Vanguard's Dark Aether. It's just the green tiger camo while animated. And I just want to say again, it looks good in game, but for what the camo is and what it stands for, it's not worth it whatsoever. And the great thing with this camo grind is in the actual menus itself, it only says you have to complete Plague Diamond for eight camo categories. And if you go to your loadouts, you'll notice there's nine. So what you can do is actually skip an entire category. So I basically worked 
worked my way right to left and unlocked all the easy categories like the melees, pistols, launchers, marksmen, snipers, and then I just did the LMGs, shotguns, and SMGs, and then I unlocked the Dark Aether camo. I didn't even need to focus or touch the assault rifles. I'm still going to do all the DLC weapons and all the assault rifles just so I have every single gun in the game, Dark Aether and Atomic. But there's so many workarounds with this camo. There's AFK strategies. There is the fact that you don't need to get Gold Viper on every gun in the game to get the camo. It's just almost a joke with how this camo is being held up. And even though it technically is a mastery camo, it doesn't feel like it's a mastery camo whatsoever. But on the bright side, within the past three years, I have every single mastery camo in multiplayer and zombies. And then I guess I don't even know why I said in the last three years, because even in Black Ops 4, I have dark matter in zombies and in multiplayer and then i have exclusion zone and all that stuff you guys mostly know the camo lore of my channel and how much i've actually unlocked and what i have the only mastery camo i don't have is black sky from infinite warfare and i know there's going to be someone that comments down below you don't have damascus and cod mobile i don't care about cod mobile at the end of the day dark aethers unlocked uh, atomics unlocked now there is such a long wait until we get some new call of duty camos to grind in the future maybe and just maybe i'm hoping they'll add a camo into vanguard that's similar to what the obsidian camo was in modern warfare 2019 only time will tell that being said i'm gonna wrap up the video here 10 percent off gamersups.com using code wild uh help supports me help supports the channel i'm about to head out and if there is one i'll see you guys in the next one peace